Ukrainian military pilot Mykola Volkozub recalls his role in the cleanup efforts following the Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster in 1986. While he assisted in putting out fires caused by fail reactor number four, Mykola's task was to measure the temperature in the reactor after the accident. In the beginning of May 1986, as he flew above, Mykola used a device attached to a 300-meter cable to find the exact temperature of the molten radioactive mass which was located inside the power plant below. The pilot spent a total of 19 minutes and 40 seconds flying over the reactor. As I said, I participated in extinguishing fires and in water rescue missions, but I had never seen anything like that. When I approached Chernobyl, I understood one thing. It wasn't clear, but it was a tragedy beyond measure. Flights over ground zero could only be conducted for just a few minutes. After returning to the ground, all equipment used was decommissioned. I landed near the cemetery for decommissioned equipment, and when I left the place, I felt very sorry for the helicopter. It did not fail me, but I had to throw it away. After completing his mission at the Chernobyl power plant, the pilot was sent to Moscow to undergo medical treatment. He remembers how the nurses in the hospital were afraid to be near him, fearing radiation. The hospital staff even gave Mikola food using a long stick to avoid contact. For some reason, I thought I would feel bad if something happened to someone else there, and I wasn't there. That's why I made the decision to take the mission immediately. I did all the planning, I got prepared, and therefore, I fulfilled the mission successfully.